Hey everybody, it's Isle here. Welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. Um, playing on our frozen forest biome. It's episode 3, and we are starting to realize we have some major, major issues. Um, with the temperature mostly. Other things are kind of working now. So uh, let's just pause a second here. We do have food online. Um, we're kind of just chugging away. We got lots of dirt, lots of water. So I have no issues with letting them do mush bars. Um, got some priorities going on. We are starting to get mealwood, but look at this. It's it's the temperatures, right? Even my auction system. Now we got this stuff down here, which is slowly producing some heat, hopefully to heat up things. But um, we're going to have to get some solutions for temperature. Uh, one thing, though, I do want to get into is once I've done this, is to go and get insulated blocks uh, figured out. But a good suggestion that was made by Cedric was that I should go to the saltwater geyser, which would be hot, and start using that even just to bring in and bring some heat in. And as I get things insulated, so I can control the temperature by having an on-off valve and letting hot stuff go through it. And then when I don't want, when I get to the temperature I like, and then I could, and I have it all just kind of get, start to get blocked off. Um, I can kind of climate control that way. And that's an interesting solution because it will require very little power to, to utilize that. I don't even have to convert it to water for now. I'm just going to take it through and then put it somewhere back cold and store it, right? Um, but run a loop through and just start getting the base heated. But right off the bat, just getting it in here where this core farm is. Almost right straight through the middle of the base, up and then back out again. And then dump it somewhere. Even if I end up dumping it back in on itself and building its own little cage here. Because this is all going to be super cold. So it will take a long time before it will actually uh, start to even heat this up. And i got to get the whole... i got stuff heated up. These temperatures are... are they're, they're ridiculous. So... Um, as well as starting to lock off because I don't want to necessarily heat everything. I want to retain a lot of this cold. But look at down here because I have frozen core. Like we got we got cold for days. And this is a minus 124. There's never going to be a point where I'm going to be saying, oh, my base is too hot. Oh, I need to cool stuff. There is always going to be options to get stuff to come in and get cooled. So uh, almost ridiculously. Uh, so um, so basically I want to get over into this thing here. And we'll just probably take a direct route straight to it um, and just dig on through here, even though it's you know, introducing more cold into the system. Um, I think we will. Now, I think I might go through here, actually, just because I can get into some of this iron and rust and stuff and then breach up through here. And I'm going to build a, probably a holding tank, just normal, a fairly good sized one, um, and just start pumping it out. And hopefully it's active. All right, you know, we don't know. So let's get that wired in and we'll just be going like that. And then we will be building a simple ladder straight up to it. Not like that. Um, build a ladder straight up to it. And then we will uncap it. Um, so there is something here that uh, I need super duper digging. Okay, well, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that when we get there. It's obsidian, that's why. Um, so we want to make sure one, two left, two left high. We don't do that block. We do everything else. Just initially, just until we have a peek at what we're dealing with. Let me even do this, okay? Um, so we'll leave that one un uncracked just until we get 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 it over there and get things set up. We don't want the stuff to spew in everywhere. So, and we will put a priority on that because it does need to get done fairly fast. And then we have to see about our. I've hit unpause, but let's uh, see if our digger uh, does not have a skill point yet to get this unfortunately so and no one else of course can do it so uh, and these guys i don't want to really give them anything else currently they, they don't you know the morale is the issue so i'm trying to keep things down so let's just do that and hopefully we can uh, get that last skill point how far away is she from it uh, bubbles bubbles needs um not only 1500 that's not very bad at all so we'll see how that goes this thing should be, yeah, we're doing some there. That's also, this will generate some heat, I believe, as well. Um, um, it does require power, so it should be putting out, yeah, 16 KDTUs. So it is creating some heat. Uh, we got to wait for some research to be done. And now that monitor things, how they're going, this is always going to be a problem because it's so cold over here. Um, this also has to get insulated off very quickly. We also know that we have access to Dracos. Okay, we can dig some of this stuff out as well, and that'll give us more seeds. More seeds for our uh, our mealwood plants. And we did a bunch here as well. So we're gonna have to tell, we, we're getting a little carried away maybe with the uh, priorities on the uh, cooking. 
Um, I think that what we need is to tell this one to not to get back into the research and bubbles. You're going to have to, uh, you need to get more onto the digging again. And I'm not going to worry about you farming. This one, I think will keep like this, um, Nisbet. I don't mind you helping out with the cooking. There's less construction to be done right now. Maybe we'll tone these down just a bit for now and allow, she's going to cook aggressively and then we'll let Turner actually do that as well. Kind of see how that goes. See if we can kind of keep pace. We are building up a little bit extra, but not, not because this stuff's not working not a lot, but this stuff has to get done or we're going to run, we're going to run aground, we're gonna start to have issues. So I'm still seeing her. No, I'm still seeing priorities. Who is it? Bubbles. Should be going for digging. Yeah, I know she is. Yeah, we're gonna prioritize eight on this. Not sure why she ran down there. I'm pretty sure I prioritized nine here. Is this not accessible? Yes, it is. Not sure exactly what she's doing. Back again, bubbles, digging. Should be prioritizing digging. Why is she? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Finally. Okay. I'm pretty sure I have insulated piping unlocked. Yes, I do. Because we're going to have to insulate some of the piping along here. They're doing good at keeping the food cranked. Not ideal, but kind of going to have to be how we go. We've got to watch that stress. That stress is starting to get out of control. So um, we better get some tables down. So that if they if they are having issues, then we can they can be taken care of. I need to get my priority on my builder um, to supersede everything else. Yep, okay. okay. That's the research complete. Okay, so the next research that we want is insulated blocks. Uh, where are those? Right there. Also give me heaters. I don't really want to do that route. That's too much energy required. Did we finish all this up yet properly? Yeah, it's all hooked up. We don't have the battery because we need um, refined metal. So that's there's another battery up here though that's on the line. So, but that's it. We need the battery here and some smart technology eventually. Um, so we're gonna need this to get going. Unfortunately, I bet our guy. Turner is being told to cook. We're going to have to scale that back for a bit and let him get back to operating. Okay, this, uh, these are in now. So we're going to say the break starts at 85 and it goes to 80. Copy. There. So... 85, 80, 85, 80. And then how, what is required? A deco item, I believe, for a... Um, dodge clinic. One deco item. We don't have any... Is this a decoration item? No. <laughs> Unlock jukebox. Anyhow, um, that's alarming that we never have unlocked any Decker items. And we didn't. Well, we're going to have to do that before anything else. Oh, 
thousand ago. I'm amazed that these oxy ferns are somehow keeping the oxygen. I thought it was four of these per dupe. And so maybe I'm wrong. Um, it missed 31. So it's more like three and a bit per dupe. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's kind of making sense. I have five dupes though, so not quite making sense. Um, I have to assume this is we're slowly losing oxygen at the uh, emitting rate of 31.3 .3, and a dupe a dupe will breathe a hundred per second so you need more than three per just slightly more so five dupes means let's get the calculator out here and it's how much is it they emit they emit 31 let's say they emit 31. 500 divided by 31 is uh, 16. So technically, I need I need 17 like, or 16. Let's just say 16 for uh, for that many dupes. And right now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So we have enough actually for this to work if we can warm this area up. And it's so cold here that we're actually getting damage. You would think these things would be given off heat, but it's just so cold. Yeah, I need to insulate this out for this to work. Now we'll be waiting on. Okay, the research is done. So um, let's get back on the insulated tiles. All right. Pay very close attention to the food situation. It does seem to be humming along. We are trying to actually start to cook it up. Uh, how much do we have? We have a lot of mush bar. We have a little bit of mush fry, a bunch of hexalin. Really, really like it to be switched over to mush fry, but I don't think we're anywhere near that positioning right now. She would fall behind. They would fall behind cooking wise. I'd have to get a little bit more of a buffer to start doing that. We should maybe go eight on one of them. Maybe go eight on both of them and see if that'll work. But we have to make and her priorities though should be pretty much. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. I'll keep an eye on it. Oh, let's kill this thing. This thing is no good. Okay. Question is, has this been getting done? Because I don't think it is. So our operator, what is he busy operating? What is he doing? He should be operating with a frenzy. Why is he not doing this? Why is it eighth on his list? What else do you need to be operating? There's literally nothing else to operate. It's a work error. Not allowed by schedule, yeah. Because right now, if I go and I check my iron, I don't have very much. I gotta wait till I see him wake up and watch and see what he's doing. Try and figure out that he's she's blocked now by that. This meal it's all no good, it's too cold. Yeah, 
Okay, where's my operator at? How do I see him? What else would he be doing? He's running around supplying stuff. He's doing supply errands. Why would he not be doing this? Hold on. What is going on here? We got this set. It says it's number one on his list now. Okay. See if he goes and does it. Maybe he was getting iron. Maybe that's what he's doing. He's running some iron back or something. No, he's doing coal. Oh, here's someone doing it, but it's the wrong person. I don't care as long as it's getting done. As long as someone's doing it. Again, this bit has decided that this is her calling in life to uh, do operating. And almost there. I think we need one more. Research is almost done, it looks like. Okay, so... Next in automation... Did I, I got my uh, deco item, yeah. It's better remember to actually put something down for that. Um, we need to get this done. And... Wait, so we can add a deco item... This, is this a deco item? No. I guess this is the only one. Let's just stick that there and see if this can work. Oh, this is this is no good. This is no not a. Uh, just throw a door in here real quick. That's part of the problem. Oh, she's got the skill. Good. Perfect. This is not going to be... Yep, it is. Doesn't even need the plant. And this is done. Okay, so that's good. Now this will get dug out, and hopefully we can use this to start getting some uh, some warmth. Along with we got the insulated uh, file, and maybe we already got it done. Oh, we do have it done. Okay, so that is a priority as well. Um, so the first place we want to do this is like right here, like this. What did I just research? Good. Now, we can put a smart battery here. Yep, 
Yeah, and we're out of resources. We need to get more of this to happen. Oh no, I have it. Set this to uh, 90 over 60. That's more efficient now. And then this battery, we can deconstruct that. And we're going to deconstruct all these. Start to flesh all this out as to how I plan to do it. Actually, I am just going to go right here. Actually, I'm not gonna, don't want to dig anything out that I don't have to. This will go like this. Okay, that's a good start. I'm just going to put an eight on this stuff. That'll be a start. Then we will uh, we will do this up to here. Run that like that, and it's going to go up to here. This has to get oh, good. Then this is going to go from here to here. We're going to run this wall. How cold is this? Not bad. Do I want to run this wall like this, or am I getting, why would I go out that far? Um, let's base it a little bit better based on what we're doing. Do it from here, like that. Like that. And then... Here, we're going to just go like this. This is what we're going to aim for. Providing the first sort of barrier to cause uh, some temperature locking to go on. Um, and I'm going to close this. No, I'm not going to close off. There's coal out there. So we are going to leave that open for now. I think we will put a mechanic. No, I don't think we will. It's gonna, this is just going to have to be what it is. Like There's just going to be heat transfer, but it's going to minimize it a lot by having this barrier in place. How are we doing over here? Uh, can we analyze this yet? Let's analyze it. Carol can't reach it yet. No, we're going to have to build this out. We're going to have to frame this out how we want to do it. I think we're going to do it pretty simply. Um, I'm not going to try and get too complicated with it. It'll have to go from here. So I don't want to. I want to build it off of this, like this. 
And it's going to have to go like this. We'll need a ladder up this way. That'll be fine. And get taken out. That should allow them to do what needs to be done. The only danger will be someone getting stuck in here right now, so we better leave that open like that for a bit. Then we were going to basically take a pump and stick it here. Um, and leave this. Cancel that. Do that. We'll put something in there later. The power to this. Not straight. I can even go like that. How bad is that? Is it a problem? No, you're not stuck. Being silly. Okay, and then insulated piping straight off there, down. Same thing. Running until we basically get to where the base is. And then we'll go down through this. Like that. And then we will change the style to this one. That straight across here. Jump this. Gonna run that straight through there. Um, right up here. And go right back. Jump this. I don't even know why it's there, but I'm sure it's important. Bring this coming all the way back again. And then it will run along here to this point, and then it will change back to insulated. We'll run it back and bring it to dump back in. Um, actually, we'll dump it, dump it here. Gotta pause the game. I'm worried that things are going haywire on me while I'm doing all this. Okay, so all that is kind of what I need done. And it has to be done fairly quick, actually. The sooner the better. We'll let them do that first. Um, okay, food is looking grim. We may have to revert back over. Yes, yeah, so we're going to have to tell... Oops, priorities. The researcher, you need to start focusing on um, cooking again. No, not you. Uh, researcher. Harold. Right, focus on cooking. You should already be doing that. And Turner, you're going to have to get back on it as well. Might have to get everybody back on it, honestly. I think changing these to eights was the problem. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, everybody's cooking, so that's good. The only person who shouldn't be really would be constructor and digger. Yep. They would be focusing on getting things done. Okay, so we are already having a flow issue. Um... I guess because I built that pipe and it dug it out. But this is ready to get capped pretty much. So let's cap this. Um, are you going to get stuck in here? If I do this this way, without this all being done? I feel like you are. Okay, we better not do that quite yet.
At least this has gotten blocked by this little bit of snow. It's a bit better. I don't know how it turned to water. I guess it got so cold, froze, and then melted again. Who? How are you getting heat stroke? Oh my god, the water is so hot. You know what? We don't need to analyze this. This is dumb. Cancel. Get out of there. You get out of there. Okay, and now this has to get capped. Man, done, done screwed around. Oh, come on, guys. Just get it done. What is the problem? Why are you so slow? It's a yellow alert for a reason. Okay. Too much liquid. Uh, it's like it's still going to work. Nope. Of course it didn't. That doesn't matter. We'll just do this. Okay. Ninety percent stress levels going on because of all the water they've been running through. Jeez, that was a mistake uncapping that. Honestly, huge mistake. Okay, hold on, hold on. You guys are starving because you're on red alerts. And because there's no food. Now that might have been a big mistake I made. Come on, please have some food for me. Oh, of course not. Um, how bad is it? It's not that bad. Okay, everybody has to go back on cooking. That's a new priority. Everybody's cooking. Who has got the worst case going? Nisbet. Nisbet, why are you not eating if there's food? She's sleeping. Why are you sleeping if you're this hungry? You should be waking up, my god. Saved by the meat. Yeah, all that walking in water, man, that was just, it's still, like, I still got to finish it, getting it done. And at least we, we got this, what, a certain level of, uh, where it needs to be. We got to get them out of the starvation and tailspin. Food poisoning, unbelievable. The hell did you get food poisoning? Yeah, this is probably not very good that this is here. Or maybe it's from this one. Oh, this one's not been active for a while, though, so it can't be. What are you grilling up? All right. 
so um, let's see here. Uh, we got a power outage because everybody's so busy trying to do all the other stuff. That's not good. That is not good if these are out. Oh my god, there's water down here. Walking through the water instead of putting it down through here. Of course you are. Yeah, that water came from burst pipe. Is my coal gone or what what like why are you guys not getting the coal into the things? You can see coal laying around. What is this that happened? Oh my god. That bug, I still can't believe they still haven't fixed that. It doesn't happen as often, but it still happens sometimes when you get a pause. When you get a, a the, the save game and you're trying to draw something. I guess we'll put this back to nine, honestly. I don't know what the why they're not focusing on it, but well, at least we're managing to find a recover. You don't have much of a choice. You know what? You can get rid of you as well. Provide some barbecue. And still lots of pips floating around. How hot is this? 70. It's pretty hot. And Cedric is right. This is definitely uh, going to provide some warmth and get the system in place. If I get that system in place and we can get the mealwood online. So I'd say this water supply is slowly dwindling. Right? So we're going to have to start to get some water. Uh, we have many sources of it. We're going to have to start to get some water um, back into it through the, this thing. We may end up moving this. We'll see. Are we getting any warmth here? Very slowly. These have to be at least, what, zero. So they're getting close. Yeah, it's amazing how much oxygen is still available. Are they, oh, these are unreachable. Okay, that's fine. Deconstruct these two. And then all this will be unreachable as well. Um, it's not good. What's the temperature of this stuff? I still, I'd like it to be barrier. We'll have to slowly change that all out, unfortunately. All right. Dig that out. Get a new tile in here. Hmm. 
Let's see if I replace these. What are the, what's the temperature going to be like? I think it's the water is too cold. It's the biggest problem. Yeah. Pipe just burst. Yep. Yeah. We really got to get this warmed up. Oh man. Really. Okay, these are online. Okay, these are online. Yep. Yep, that's good. That's good. I think to build this, I'm going to go in. I'm going to go in here. I'm actually going to do that. Yeah, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to do this. Um, I'm going to build this like this. This is vacuum. I believe that. This is going to be a, an emergency task to get this one done as well. Because if I can get this online, this is should be enough to provide me with a steady state of oxygen. How much do they emit? They emit more than these things want. So it is a it's a six twenty five milligrams per second. She's emitting double more than that. Why is she only inhaling my 60? Oh, because she's holding her breath. So maybe it's not actually that. Let me see the cook. 260. So they, ex why is they inhaling so much oxygen? Why would she have, did she have a, a, a thing going on? Like, oh, where's bio? Oh. Heavy breather or something? I didn't realize it. Bio. I don't know. I don't know why she's breathing so much. For example, this guy. What's he doing? He's uh minus 80. Anyways, the point is they exhale enough carbon to uh fuel these. That was my point. Sorry. So the first step in this stuff was you could get this online. And this is there's 13 there, 14, 15, 16, 17. My my calculation 17 was enough for five dupes. So we actually now we don't have to worry about an auction system for a while. This is going to do what we need. But we're losing carbon because we have to get this done. So we're going to lose carbon, but I'm, maybe I'll fill it back up again. Maybe I won't care. I think there's enough coming in uh, that I don't have to care. But they're going to be very slow to get it, all this done with the amount of stuff they've got being told to do with priority nines. I may have to force some actions here. Um, let's see what our blueprint is. nothing what a surprise okay might have to force some things to go on here a lot of it is still the stress levels we're working on that though we're working on it. um it's whenever they get their feet wet that's causing the biggest issues okay i want to get this done so let's let's have a hit at this because it will only allow, like, sound like I don't think all of them will run here and do this because it's uh, it's only two people at a time they are going to access. I wonder what's buried here. I might as well just dig this out. to be fancy. I'm going to do a yellow oil for a bit because we have enough food backed up now. Um, priority wise, uh, bubbles, stop worrying about cooking. Actually, and this bit, stop worrying about cooking. We'll let the other three do that. For now. Okay, they can't get down here, so that's the problem with this.
This is irrigation. Okay, so we need to get water. We are going to have a water issue soon. Um, so that has to come from here. So we need to hook this back up. Plumbing. This gets hooked back up. This starts cycling through. And we want it to... Um, no, we would want it to go here for whatever. But that's not that important, actually. I'm going to forget about that one. Uh, we want it to go there yes and into the system yes there it goes this is set up wrong This is going, it's supposed to go, oh, I think to help fill this. And now it's the opposite where I don't need it hooked up to this thing. This just needs to go like that. So this thing can be removed. Okay, that's a good start. Okay, and then plumbing. We need uh, this to actually just go in. And that's a bit of a priority. What do we got? Nothing. Brine, last thing I need. Well, some bottled brine will be good. I might need it for some barrier. At some point. Okay. Now it's coming. Just in time. Perfect. These are not frozen temperatures down here now either. I want you guys to focus on getting this done. Get out of here. We need to get this done as well. Yep. Another one they'll get here. So I might as well just let them do all this. Get all this done. Get all this done. That's the first part. And then we're going to get back on this. Okay, if you're going to start doing this, then we are cleaning this up. Because you're going to get your feet wet and you guys are all going to get upset about it. So get all that cleaned up. Okay. Now you can guys get busy again. Next, we need to get this finished. Let that go for a bit. I'm not going to leave it like that. Um, it's just I need them to all focus on a couple of key things. And sometimes just blitzing something is 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 it will work, and sometimes it'll lead to disaster. So I'm watching their stress level and I'm watching the starvation levels and all that, and just trying to get it, just get it smashed out as fast as we can, and ready to pull the plug if I feel that it's because uh, I wanted this back online. And I think I've pushed it about far enough. Um, we better cool it. We better cool it. Let them go back to a normal routine. And we can go and force it again, but really they have so much else to do. It's not going to be online until all this is built. So we're going to have to get them back all now cooking again. How bad is it? 
Not bad. 700. Come on, guys. Get cooking. You're told to prioritize it. No idea what you're doing. I hate when the one that's starving doesn't eat. Go, Nisbet. Get that food. Good. Act a little tense. <sighs> okay, we're gonna back off our builder. She needs to get back on building things. We actually gonna tell her two priority wise um, building and supplying because um, you'll need the supply, and maybe your stuff yourself. And somebody needs to stay on supplying. Here we go with our coal problem. And here comes a load of coal. Yeah, I'm going to have to get a little bit ahead on the food, and I'm going to have to prioritize, force them to build this. And this bit will try to do some of it, but at least only three can cook at once. There's always one who's running around supplying. get a little bit more calories built up I'm gonna force it again but not a far away portion we're gonna, it's all gonna be done before it's gonna work so I'm gonna try this I'm gonna try and get this line done Okay, that's enough. I'll start doing small patches of it. There, I'm going to do this one. Okay. Still feeling good about it. Let's try this. We better fix this. No, too much starvation going on. on.
this is going to be um, food wise. We're going to build this out so that um, you can access this, but might as well because it's going to run along there. So like that like that. I think we can do another burst. Yep. Let's try doing this. See how long they'll accept this for. Because there's, there's a lot of food laying around they can all grab when they're done. Yeah, we got a massive amount of it done. I think they can finish. There we go. That's fine. Okay. Let's get these last two things done. Okay. Copy this. There, that's fine. Now let's get this done. Get that much done. Okay, that took all their attention. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. No, no, no. Okay. Why is this leaking? Oh, something must have melted. God, this is really becoming this kind of creeping water problem. It is. God damn it. Why is there so much of it? It's this is unbelievable. I didn't think we had left any. Oh, there's some ice here. It, it must be something like that's going on. Okay, well, one of the easiest things to do is just simply plug this hole. And we gotta get this cleaned up. Yeah, there's ice on the ground. Okay, the other thing we gotta do is we're gonna have to put a stop gap here. Stop this stuff from flowing down for a bit. It's just making such a mess of the whole base. I hate it when I have water all over the place. Just hate it. God. Somebody, of all the things in this game I hate, is how the water. I hate the water so much. I hate it. It's always running everywhere. It takes way too long for the mop action, honestly. Okay, is that pretty much clean that up and this is blocking it and now they probably don't have access to this. So I think what we're going to actually have to do is give them a different access because I'm just not taking the chances on water ever coming back in through this route. So we're going to have to do this. Just can't take the chance. This is just ridiculous. And it's going to keep on doing like look at all this stuff up here. And I know there's more ice and snow here, which I just don't want to deal with right now. I got so much else that has to be done. It's going on. Insane. No, I like the challenge. This cold map is certainly very challenging. I didn't never even consider how hard it would be. 
It's a better challenge than Upside Down World. I really didn't like Upside Down World. That's why I stopped the run. I just didn't like it. I don't like changing bases like that. You got one base, now you're moving out. I just didn't like what I, had, I was doing there. So this is a little bit better. And it, it's a different kind of challenge where there's an enemy which is like literally the cold. Yeah, it's that all has to you do. You got to get all this cleaned up, man. Otherwise, everyone's going to freak out. We're going to have to do a mass clean on it. I'm just going to have to force it. But we can't because so much stress going on. Plus, fucking. It's every time they go in here and touch water with their feet. There you go. Boom. Stress multiplier for the rest of the day. So it might be best just to take the hit and get it out of there. Or I wait it out and they won't be going in there for a little bit. There's a lot of other stuff that they're trying to do, right? Because these are all nines as well. So. No, he, well, at least, okay, so he's going and clean because I told him to. So that's fine. I don't mind him doing that. Right. Look at how slow the water cleanup is. It's ridiculous. What would happen if I put like a pump here, you know, like one of these things, and then just took a, told him to take it all out? I don't think it would be any faster. Looks like we're back to starvation uh, issues again. Uh, yeah, I would say that, that is we're right on the edge still. But it's like, it's so difficult sometimes. It's like, you got to get this done in order for this to come online. But we can't focus on this because we got this going on. Okay, I think we're going to have to blitz this, guys. So the first step is... Blitz out this. What is dripping? Oh, it's the water is causing. That's what it is. Okay, and again, boom, out it comes. So, if that's going to constantly be the problem going on, then what we need to do is drill down this like this and create basically a sink as fast as possible. Otherwise, this never goes away and we always have this issue. So we're going to do that. We got starvation issues, of course. We're going to have to push it, though. What's the vitals looking like? Not bad. Okay. We're going to do that. Now we'll let them get out of there. But we're, while they're all stressed from being wet, they're coming back in to clean it up. There's no choice. What's going on with our water? Why is this stopped? Needs, of course, because I got set the priorities in five. Okay, that's good. That's fine. We understand what's going on, and that's the main thing is to figure out what's going on. Now we just need the. Um, We just need to get caught up again on our cooking and stuff. That's where I feel comfortable to do some more. Here we go again with the coal. So we don't have a dedicated supplier who can keep up, keep pace of everything. Jeez. Oh, it's a vicious circle. Our water's down. And we need this thing to go. Yeah, this is on. Okay. There, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Go get your food or whatever you have to do. No, we got another one who's getting down into the borderlines. This stupid printing pot has not offered me food once this entire run. Not a single time in 40 cycles. 
Like a, a nice little drop of 12,000 food would be really appreciative right about now. Yeah, we're gonna, someone's gonna die. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Emuls, Nisbet, meat, go. Who's next? Harold. They're all. No one's cooking. Oh my god. Nobody is cooking. Sleeping, sleeping, massage, massage, because of the water. Because of walking in water, all stressed out. If it wasn't for walking in the water, well, it would be fine. But it's, you know. And we still, we got another row of water to clear, so they're all going to get their feet wet again. So I can get this thing in. I'm also planning to just replace this with another musher. But I feel like sometimes he cooks off a, uh, he cooks up some of it and it adds a little bit to it. Stop high-fiving each other. Cook your food. Okay, we got a little bit of a... We got a little bit caught up there. Only three can cook at once, so... Now we need to get this cleaned up. Pull that. Dig this out. Okay. Oh, this is not good either. Getting small leaks like that. This is still not done, eh? Yeah, that's a lot for them, for five dupes to handle. Thank God you guys are loading the coal up now. On your own. Okay, we gotta clean up this water. Oh my god, guys. One of you has priority tidying. Why are you not mopping this? Wow. I guess he was maybe focused over here. Okay. That doesn't matter. We're getting this done. We're getting this this problem out, out of here. The stress is killing me. It's causing downtime when I need stuff done, so and we need to get this online. This has to be. If we could just get a, a food drop out of the pod, it would buy me just enough time to go and blitz it and finish it. But I just can't get that 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 relief I need from the starvation cycle. We did get some algae too at some point, didn't we? I don't know how much I acquired. Very a little amount. We might use it though to pump a little more oxygen into the uh, into the environment. This is a very simple solution. Might as well use it. I thought I might have saw some other algae somewhere. Yeah, there's some deep down here as well that we could always go after. But I feel like if I get the oxygen maybe topped up a bit. This thing this thing can't gain. It can only keep the status quo, I think. It's not really gaining though. I think in order to get out of this tailspin, we're going to actually change this to 90.85 for now. And 
then I can get some work done. Okay, please give me food. That's kind of food. But I'm not going to just waste that as eggs, I don't think. I think I'll let it hatch. Use this meat at some point. Although maybe using it now would make sense, but I don't think so. I think we're going to go and try and get this done. I think we're going to try and get this done. How are they getting in here? Is this unnecessary? Maybe it is. Yeah, it's not saying a reach, but I think they can actually make the jump. Okay, let's do it. How much of this case can they get done? Yeah, they can get through there. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna watch his vitals. And that's just a 900. Maybe we'll go for half of it. Yeah, I think that's good. How does this work? This looks like it's capping this. I don't think they do. I think they only need three I weird. I never noticed that before that it looks like that. Pretty sure they only have to be three high. I have to do another attack. Somebody get some coal going on here. Okay. Better do another attack at this. Oh, it's already popping starvation. Unbelievable. Three of them. See if we can just get a little bit more of this done. No, nah, it's too many. It's too many. Too many. Yep. Yeah, we got too many issues going on. That might put them in a bit better mood if the oxygen sort of gets pumped in here a bit better. Come on, guys. You need to get cooking. Quit high-fiving each other. I'm not sure. It's, uh, it must be from the pipe. Right? That must be what's going on. But it doesn't look like it's that level. So I'm not sure why we keep on getting... Is there a pipe going through? No, there's not. So why is this keeping on making me water? Is there something in the air? Is there snow on the ground? There is. There's ice there. And it's going to melt. Okay. Ice. Move to... Here. You think they would know how to mop up water without getting soggy feet? Like, yeah, you can see there's still some in here, isn't there? There's ice there. That is the frustration of the map we are playing, for sure. And there's ice here. We almost got to do this. We don't have the power. But we're going to have to... Oh, we don't even have the thing. I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to have to stick one of these here. Let's give that a priority. 
You know what? Let's get some more of this done. 90% stress now. No, nothing going on. Nothing going on. Starvation. Oh my god, we cannot do it. Try and get this one done. They all gotta get back. Okay, get back there. Get back and start cooking. We're gonna get through this. No power. Unbelievable. Still on a tailspin here. Because they keep, oh, I hate the priority system so much. Like, I only want, I want to have a rule, if coal, always. Otherwise, the supply can be generalized. But now, if I go eight, then I don't focus on it as much. It doesn't, like, work the way it, it, it's meant to be working when you put eights on stuff. In my, at least in my experience. You have someone prior supplied up, and then it's an eight. He'll go do something that's a left priority over a nine, right? Like, that's what I find. This is really a tough run. This is tough. I don't know if I can get, I'm going to pull this off or not. It's a good idea to do what the suggestion was about using the salt to heat it up, but the problem is, is that I'm on such a tight budget time-wise to try and get something like that set up. That you just you don't have the resource to throw against it. I almost needed an easier solution, but uh, you, but if I can get it set up, though, it is the it is the best solution. So uh, it's just so so uh, of a struggle to try and uh, get through it. As soon as I get a break from starvation, but I don't. It just keeps going around in a circle on me. Ravenous difficulty is just, like, that's the hardest part of all the settings. It's the fact that it's ravenous. Everything else is easy to deal with. If they really wanted to make it hard, they, they should make it so the oxygen, the amount they breathe is double. Then that would really add a lot to it. And we cannot get out of this cycle if we don't blitz this thing. I'm going to wait till they wake up. That's the worst combo when Jane and Bubbles are sleeping. Because they're the cooks, I believe. Yeah, well, at least one of them is. Pretty much when Jane sleeps, life is not good. It's still the starvation pops. It just doesn't ever, we don't ever get ahead of it. I have to pray that this thing will just won't for once give me some food. Did I crack these eggs and cook them up to buy myself some time? I might have to. I'm going to have to, honestly. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep going around in a circle on this. I'm never going to get this uh, this thing built. To heat these up. And the moment these are online and grow, we'll be fine. Mealwood is the t solution. Almost in every single hard map, Mealwood ends up being the solution. Okay. Eggs. Yes. Three of them, right? Anything else? Nope. Three of them. Priority. I'm going to add egg to this once they crack them. Okay. Omelette. Forever. Okay. I think that's Jamie. Just enough. 
where I'm going to get myself half a cycle or maybe a quarter of a cycle to actually get them all do the rest of the building. Yeah, I think that, that we're going to have to chance it and just say, do this now. Get this part done, then we're almost there. This doesn't have to be done. This is this is redundant, so there's no point in doing that. And then, you know what? This doesn't even have to be done at this point. All that matters is you just get this last bit done. Oh my god, there's more water. Of course there's more water. Oh my god. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Ah, oh, unbelievable. Yeah, you know, we're going to have to stress our way through it. That's just all there is to it. Something here melted. There's ice all over the ground. I need to, in order to get rid of this, I'm going to have to dump it all somewhere. I can't do that. I don't have the machine. I tried to build this. It got this built. Um, I'm going to say uh, liquefiable, uh, all sort no, not brine ice, just ice and snow. Uh, and then we're just going to go priority like this. Um, we're going to have to back this off. They're starting to starve. Yep. So this we're going to have to stop with. And then this will just tone this down. Let them get back to Now they got to go back to eating and stuff. Took all that stress for, like, ridiculous. Oh, it's so frustrating at times. It is so fr... This is honestly one of the most frustrating, stressful uh, builds I've done. So I am enjoying it. Don't let me uh, fool you. I am enjoying it. Don't worry. Um, it's just that for me, I'm feeling the stress, right? It's just so insane how hard this is to push this through. You got food poisoning going on. Eating raw egg, of course. I would man, I wish this just this would just default off. The thing is that you don't want to show up in your consumables until you actually discover the thing. And so it's like you have to go and I don't like that. I think you should have actually a general setting where you can say these things are always set to certain parameters, you know, or show hidden or something like that. Because honestly, you forget to do that all the time. He goes and eat raw eggs, gets food poisoning, waste the food that we fought so hard to get. Okay, so. Are we ready to try and blitz again? The first thing we're going to do is get rid of this because it's such a problem. We're going to tell this. They'll pick up all the ice. There any other ice anywhere? Because basically they'll stop if they're done with it all. Yep, of course, no, uh, no, no food. No, no gift of food. No, nope. it's not. Okay, I don't want you guys to do this one. So let's, uh, I think you've, you've, you've overextended your, uh, your situation now. I think you guys have gotten it more or less done, except for this one, which just liquefied literally in front of us. Okay, and then we're going to do this again because uh, we're going to go sweep only, though. And let me see, where where was it? There. Still cooking. Okay. Turn this off. Let them get caught back up on their food again. And work on their stress. Because we got people like almost 100%. God, I hate that they ate raw eggs and we wasted eggs and just because of the way this thing is set up where you can't tell it in advance that they should never be eating raw eggs or it doesn't default to off, but 
it really, you know, the fact the food got wasted is even more than the food poisoning, but the food poisoning adds to the stress.